begin with that new headline in the O.J. Simpson murder case. Tonight, the Los Angeles police confirming that they are testing a knife allegedly found buried at Simpson's former estate. It's a case, of course, that riveted the nation from the moment Simpson took off in that white Ford Bronco chased by police for hours. Simpson arrested for the murder of his wife, Nicole, and her friend, Ron Goldman, both stabbed to death. The weapon never found. Every minute of the 10-month trial on TV, the jury in the end finding O.J. not guilty. No other suspect ever found, nor was any knife. But tonight, amid reports this one is not consistent with the murders, the LAPD acknowledging they are testing it. As we ask, would it make any difference, even if they ever found DNA? ABC's Matt Gutman is in Brentwood, California tonight. Tonight, that knife, another torture twist in the O.J. Simpson case. The LAPD saying today the knife was allegedly found by a construction worker on O.J. Simpson's property during the late 1990s and are investigating whether it's connected to the brutal stabbing of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman, in 1994. This individual wanted to turn it over to law enforcement. The LAPD says this knife is now being carefully scanned for possible DNA evidence amid reports that initial findings show it's not the murder weapon. But ABC News has learned the full test could take weeks. The shocking part, an LAPD officer, now retired, was allegedly handed the knife by a construction worker and held on to it for 18 years. Is this another case of the LAPD or an LAPD officer mishandling evidence in the O.J. Simpson case? Well, I certainly hope not, but it certainly is very concern, uh, concerning to us that a police officer, whether retired or active, uh, would not know to submit and turn in evidence or what is believed to be evidence. During the trial, the LAPD was found to have mishandled evidence and never found the murder weapon, believed to be a small knife that played an outsized role in the 1995 trial. This is a rage killing. And he's using a knife because he is there to settle a personal score, a personal vendetta that he has. Ron Goldman's father telling the Daily News, I hope they test it, and I hope it turns out to be the weapon. It would be one more nail in Simpson's coffin. The OJ frenzy today, trending all day on Twitter, erupting as People vs. OJ Simpson is currently airing on FX. You've got two victims in Brentwood. Nobody gets killed in Brentwood. Also reminding us of Simpson's house, that epic slow speed chase through L.A., and of course, that year-long trial. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. O.J. was acquitted of the murder, but was convicted in 2008 in an unrelated case and is eligible for parole next year. David, multiple law enforcement officials tell us that this could be entirely bogus. In fact, officers who worked intimately on the O.J. Simpson case for years said that they checked into and investigated up to 150 similar knives. Not a single one of them had DNA either matching O.J. Simpson's or the victims. David. Matt Gutman tonight. Matt, thanks. Let's get right to ABC's chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. Dan, always great to have you with us. This knife was discovered nearly 20 years ago. It's just now being tested. And that would mean that no matter what they found, even in a theoretical world, they'd have a real problem using this for anything substantive because you have a guy who says he's working on a construction site, who gives it to another guy, who holds it for more than a decade. Think about all the things that could have happened to that knife in the meantime, serious chain of custody problem. And theoretically, even if they were able to find DNA on this knife, they can't retry O.J. Simpson. Never, double jeopardy. He was tried once, he was acquitted. You can never try O.J. Simpson again. He could confess tomorrow. He still couldn't try him. Very heavy dose of skepticism tonight.